Welcome to Think Green, a special edition of Designing Spaces that's all about you, your space, your home, and your surroundings. I'm Ted Brunson. Home and surroundings, well, the environment. We must consider the environment as part of our economy, health, and community, all working together towards what we like to call a greener lifestyle. On today's show, we have a great lineup of topics to help you create a more eco-friendly home, a place where you and your family can live a more efficient and healthy lifestyle. So let's get started and think green. How energy efficient is your home? What can be done to reduce your carbon footprint and reduce utility bills? Not many of us can honestly answer those questions. I mean, every home has its weak point. Places or systems that cause us to consume more electricity or natural gas than necessary. Well, here at Think Green, we have found a service that will help you reduce those utility bills and contribute to living a greener lifestyle. Here's Kevin Skolin up in Michigan. How efficient is your home? Are your utility bills as low as they really can be? What parts of your home could be leaking energy, not only costing you dollars, but even contributing to a less comfortable living space? Think Green looks at how we can appraise your home's energy efficiency and what we can do to help address any problems found. When we talk about living a greener lifestyle, in many cases what we really mean is living a more cost-effective lifestyle in terms of energy consumed. Energy consumed the amount that you pay for and what comes from utility companies. Think Green has discovered a group of folks that can help us reduce those utility bills and reduce the amount of energy consumed, thereby contributing to living a greener lifestyle. Joining me is Larry Lassiter from Well Home, and he's going to take us through this house to show us how his team has made it more energy efficient and comfortable. Larry, this sounds really interesting, but before we go in, why don't you tell us about Well Home? Kevin, Well Home is a home performance contractor. What that means is we help homeowners make their homes more comfortable and more energy efficient. And we do that by starting with a whole home assessment to really decide what that particular home needs. And from that, we may implement a variety of projects ranging from air sealing, insulation, um, heating and cooling system upgrades, water heater upgrades, lighting upgrades, whatever that particular home needs. Let's go check this house on its own home performance. Hey, Sally, how you doing? This is Kevin from Think Green. Nice Hi, to Sally. meet nice you. Nice to see you. Come on in. Thank you. Designing Spaces Think Green staff contacted Sally with the idea of allowing us into her home with Larry and his crew from Well Home to explain what they found and how they made the house more comfortable and energy efficient. So the first step in our assessment process is to simply ask the homeowner, uh, what kind of issues are you having with comfort and, and energy efficiency inside your home? Well, um, the, the house is older. This was built in 1952. So we know that there are some insulation issues in the house. So that's why I called Well Home. I figured that they could help me out with that. All right. Well, Sally, with your permission, I'd like to have Larry take us through the house and show us exactly what he found and how he was able to help improve the energy efficiency. Please feel free to go wherever you need to go. And uh, I've got some work to get done. So I'll speak to you after you're done. Great. Thank you, Sally. So, Larry, what exactly does a home assessment entail? We start with the actual energy usage that, that that home consumed over the previous 12 months. We take this series of tests and we end with a computer simulation model that helps us understand here's how the home's performing today against that actual usage, and then with improvements, here's how much better it could be. Uh, come with me, let me show you some of those. Sounds good. All right, Larry, it looks like we've gone high tech. Why don't you explain what you're doing with this? Kevin, uh, this is an infrared camera. This is one of the most important tools that our Well Home Advisor uses. It helps us identify the hot and cold spots in the house. Well, using the camera, we can see that they're across the top of that door frame, the air infiltrating from the outside. So in the winter, cold air is going to be coming right through there. And in fact, we found another area draft upstairs, and the air just moves right between that and is the root cause of that draft. Infrared camera can also help us see 
how energy efficient the windows are, for instance. There's a big surface temperature difference between the glass and the wood. Very efficient door they put in here, so right. it's not a problem. It can also help us as we look through the walls and see um, are the well insulated. And because if they're if they're not, the heat coming from the outside will really radiate in, and we'll see it right here with the infrared camera. All right, Larry, I'm not a well home trained specialist like you, but even I can tell you that this is not a traditional front door. <laughs> You're exactly right, Kevin. This is a, what we call a blower door. Allows us to do, ironically enough, the blower door test. This big fan here really sucks the air inside of the house. It depressurizes the house. Uh, it really causes an effect that's like putting 20 mile an hour winds on all sides of the house at once. And that does two things for us. First, it allows us to take a measurement of just really how leaky this house is, how much air is infiltrating from the outside into the home. And especially in this house, the basement is a mechanical room. It has the hot water heater and the furnaces downstairs. Um, we do our uh, gas leak detection down there. We do some combustion efficiency testing on the furnace. Also though, here there was a crawl space and, and a connected to the basement down there that was uninsulated. And we found that was really one of the root causes of why they just, this room stayed so cold downstairs. And by using spray foam insulation in that crawl space and basement area, we were able to tighten up the part of the house they never see, really was causing a root cause, making that downstairs so cold in the wintertime. All right, Larry, we're obviously standing under the attic access panel. Now, I'm guessing that this could be a major cause of energy inefficiencies. Oh, absolutely, Kevin. This is really important that we do a thorough inspection of the attic. There are a couple of reasons. First, we just want to make sure it's properly insulated, right? The hot air is going to rise. Uh, if we don't have the insulation there, uh, in all weather, you're going to have a problem. Uh, it's also important here that our air sealing crews uh, make sure this attic plane is properly sealed. Okay, so you think about they build a house and um, they run the plumbing and the wiring up through. Sure. Well, sometimes they don't go back and seal up those holes after they cut them. Our crews go in there, they seal those up, and that reduces that air infiltration that we measured with the blower door. Well, Larry, I have to say that was a pretty intensive uh, home assessment that you did. Now, why would somebody get a home assessment? Well, Kevin, the reason that homeowners should get an assessment is uh, most homeowners just aren't qualified to do a self-diagnosis of their home of what's really causing those problems that they're experiencing. All the time, people will have a problem like, okay, there's a cold room downstairs. And they say, it's got to be the heater, right? I'm going to get a new heating system and that'll fix it. And they can call in you know, three or four you know, reputable heating contractors will all recommend, sure, get a new high efficiency heating system. Sure. And after spending all that money and that effort, that may not have been the root cause of the problem. Okay. So by doing a whole home assessment, using building science to really get to the root cause of the issue, that's how you make sure your home is going to be both comfortable and energy efficient. So does Well Home take care of the, the job of bringing all the contractors and installers together? We do. That's part of the convenience we offer in our service. Uh, we make the recommendations. Uh, we work with the homeowner to decide which projects they want to do. And then we serve as a general contractor to either do the work in-house or we use some of our um, pre-screened qualified subcontractors. But in all cases, the homeowner just looks to us to make sure that project really works as they expect. In fact, we're so certain that these projects work that we guarantee the energy savings for the first year for every customer. How do we go about finding Well Home? That's an easy one. All you have to do is go to wellhome.com, find the location nearest you. You'll also find information there on uh, rebates, utilities, state rebates, and even federal tax incentives that are available to them just by going to wellhome.com. Very good. And of course, our viewers can also go to designingspaces.tv. Click on the Think Green tab and we'll have a link to your website and an opportunity to watch this uh, episode again. I'd like to thank Sally for the chance to come in and uh, take us through. Her home is uh, much more energy efficient and comfortable. And of course, Larry, you and your team from Well Home, thanks so much. Well, thank you, Kevin. For Think Green, I'm Kevin Scollin in Okemos, Michigan. We all want to live a healthier lifestyle, both for ourselves and for the ecosystem. And we all want to reduce our cost of living while maintaining an efficient household. We all have the power and the ability to make a difference. We have a choice. And it's a choice like never before. So together, let's make the right decision and move towards a healthier world. For Designing Spaces, Think Green. I'm Ted Brunson.
You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.